This is the district of Yashimal, an area full of people who fled the fighting in occupied Karabakh, many squashed in old student dormitories. Khatira Adigozalova is a widow who lives alone in a small, cramped flat. She used to be a librarian, but was forced to leave 25 years ago when Armenian forces took her home city. Now she earns extra money by making curtains. Just one day before Armenian troops arrived in our city, we got instructions to evacuate. We didn't manage to take any of our belongings with us. It was like we had to leave naked. 400 families are crammed into this building. The government is trying to rehouse them all in new complexes, but it's proving to be a challenge. There are about 40,000 internally displaced people living in this district of Baku alone. And it's one of the demands of the Azerbaijan government that all of them should be allowed to return home if they wish. Internally displaced families are exempt from utility bills. Each person receives a $30 monthly allowance. But there are other problems, such as dealing with their mental well-being. Uh, the biggest challenge actually is to retain these hopes because IDPs not, not only just live with that hope, this is the only hope they have that to go back to their native lands. Khatira says that even now, at the age of 69, she would go back. Her husband died three years after the ceasefire, but her three children still live nearby in Baku. But even that, probably wouldn't hold her back. Andrew Hopkins, TRT World, Baku, Azerbaijan.